Hi friends, today we'll be making some air fryer gulab jamuns. So an unorthodox way of making gulab jamuns. And let's see how we get along with this. Um, so what mixture that I'm going to be using is the Gitz gulab jamun mix. Now this is a quite well known brand in India. Um, and I'll talk you through and through, uh, through each and every step of how to go about making this. So making these gulab jamuns is actually quite easy. Um, and it happens to be my uh, favorite childhood sweet. So I really look forward to making it on any festive occasion. Um, so what do you get in this box? So when you open that, you essentially get a powder in there. Like that. And there you go. So what you need to begin with is actually making the dough with this powder. Uh, so let's proceed to do that. So what you need for that is a large bowl. So let's do start doing that. So you empty up this powder uh, into a wide glass bowl and make sure that there aren't any uh, areas where it has sort of stuck together. So make sure that it's quite nice and, 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 and fluffy, this powder mix. Uh, what you could do is actually run it through a nice sieve so that um, the mix comes out very fine on the other side. Once you've done that, the next step would be to add anywhere between 120 to 150 mils of water gently while doing this to create a soft, smooth mixture. So let's proceed with that. So there you go. After adding sort of 130 to 140 mils of water, it actually goes running quite quickly. So after ad adding it very slowly in part, uh, what you've achieved is a very soft consistently consistency dough. Uh, the next step here would be to get some firmness to this dough. Uh, and to achieve that, we'll put that in the fridge for uh, half an hour to an hour or maybe even a couple of hours and then proceed with the next step. So now we can get the glove jam mixture out of the fridge. As you see, I've used some cling film to keep the moisture inside. Um, and what I've also done is uh, taken out some of the, some desi ghee, uh, about three teaspoons of it, uh, just to coat up the glove jamons once we put them in the air fryer. So let's proceed with uh, making the dough balls. So once we proceed from netting the dough to making balls out of it, You'd be able to get anywhere from 25 to 50 balls. Uh, I made 25 or so, uh, but obviously uh, my ball size is bigger. Um, but there you go. Um, we have made these and they're ready to go. Now the trick is to take small amounts, uh, about 25 to 30 grams worth in your hand and then roll it up while dipping it in, in uh, some desi ghee uh, to make them have a very smooth uh, consistency and to ensure that they are coated well with desi ghee uh, once they go inside the air fryer. Um, if they are cracking up already, if you are making the dough ball, then the mixture isn't soft enough. And if they if they do get cracks, then that that creates problems later onwards when you put them in the sugary syrup. The next step would be to coat the bottom of the air fryer basket with um, some uh, desi ghee uh, before proceeding to add the dough balls in there. So as you can see now that I have lined up uh, the dough balls inside the air fryer basket and let's get this one going uh, onto air crisp mode. So now we've spent about 15 minutes in the air fryer at 180 degrees and this is your end product that you're seeing here. So you can see that they're nice uniform brown and ready to go into the syrup mix. So there you go. The next step would be to heat up 800 ml of water, um, bring it to boiling point and then add sugar. So the next step is to measure up about 750 grams worth of sugar and add that to the mix. Uh, so we've got boiling water ready on one side and then we're going to add the sugar to that. So there you go, we have added that 750 grams of sugar into that 800 ml of water. And as you can see, this is working out really well now. Uh, it has literally dissolved, literally absorbed uh, the consistency. And the syrup needs to be at the right consistency. Uh, well, if it's too dilute, then the glass jams will just unnecessarily swell up. Uh, if it's too thick, then there's a problem with that too, uh, in terms of stickiness, etc. But this is just about right. I think to add some additional flavor to that, what we'll do is uh, use a pestle and mortar and, 
and grind some uh, cardamom seeds uh, and add to this mix. So let's do that. So here you go, we've emptied out some of these pods uh, of cardamoms and been able to get some seeds out which will now grind through with the pestle and mortar kit. So we've ground up the cardamom seeds and now we'll add them to the, to the mixture, as you can see. So as you can see now that the uh, mixture has now been nicely cleared out, it's come clear in color. Uh, and that's happened because the sugar now has completely uh, dissolved through and through into uh, the mix. Uh, and we've added the cardamom seeds and we'll bring up to a gentle boil now. Uh, and then eventually add the gulab jamuns in there. So yes, let's see how that works out. So we've been going about five minutes now with the boiling of the sugar syrup with the cardamom seeds inside it. Uh, you would think now that the uh, flavor of the cardamom has thoroughly infused inside the syrup. So now let's proceed to add uh, the gulab jamuns in it and we'll try to keep them in there for about 30 minutes in the syrup uh, so that they fully absorb uh, the flavors of the syrup. There you go guys, our moment is right to add these uh, beauties inside the boiling syrup and let's see uh, what results we get with that. So there you go. They're good to go now. Ready to go. As you can see they're consistently brown. They're not being blackened at any place. Uh, they're a nice healthy brown color. Uh, the, prom the problem with uh, them getting over fried is that they actually end up uh, imparting a very burnt flavor to the syrup. Uh, but that's not happened as you can see in this case. And what we need to do is now keep it on a low flame or in fact switch off uh, this now for a moment and let's wait half an hour and as you can see there are nice healthy golden orange color none of them are burnt and the best thing is that we have used only one fourth the amount of oil to make them so they are healthier so now we have left them for about half an hour to absorb uh, the syrup and you can see they have expanded more in size. Um, so obviously you can variate the size of these by making smaller dough balls um, which might work out better for some. Um, it depends upon your personal preference really. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Many thanks. So let's see what they are like when you cut it to them. Let's see. You can see the cross section of these um, quite nice and soft job done